course a letter without a stamp shouldn't be sealed and this one isn't and it's obviously for me so I'm going to see what's inside well a letter plainly enough let's see what's inside the letter oh, I might have guessed a flutterbug how's that made well it's very simple it's a bow of wire a bowstring of rubber band and a fluttery bit of cardboard or plastic let's see how you put it together from the start in fact a bit of wire is sometimes hard to get hold of but a paper clip is all you need you can start with one of these big ones but it's a bit hard to bend with your naked fingers it will work if you're strong enough but you can go to a medium sized one which is just strong enough so your choice is really that one with pliers or this one with fingers let's try the one with fingers straighten it out and try and keep it straight because it uh, makes less of a bulge in the envelope but pull it out like that into a straight line and then bend it into half a circle and that is quite enough before you need the pliers and you probably will need those to put a kink on each end there's a hook on there going outwards and a hook on there going outwards and that's your steel bow the next bit is a bowstring a thin short rubber band will do the job and it should be tight between there and there and it is so now for the bit that makes the noise you can use thickish cardboard but I prefer to use an ice cream container it just really is perfect for the job you cut a little square like that and you cut in from one side a slot almost halfway across and from the other side a slot almost halfway across to meet it and you take those slots and mesh them with a the rubber band like this put it like that pull the rubber band through one side and through the other and that will hold the plastic in position and then all you have to do is to twist and you just keep on twisting you get two springs out of this one is the rubber which is twisting up the other is the steel of the spring which is being really bent like a bow and when you think it's twisted enough you load the envelope don't put it straight into the envelope use a piece of paper which is folded once then over again because that will act as a very good resounding sort of beating drum put the flutter back inside crimp the paper over fold it again that'll hold it flat and then put the whole thing into an envelope and then you too can leave that for a friend <laughs>